guys, welcome back to another video. This is David, also known as Mr. Lush Lawn, and today I will be going over my site lawn project. So these past couple of weeks, I've been getting tons of requests from people asking me on what I did to recover my front lawn after the Texas freeze. I guess there's not enough content out there from people scalping, truly scalping a, a St. Augustine lawn. So I wanted to do a little something different on my site lawn where it's being purposely neglected for the reason being that I'll be expanding my driveway. So all that area is gonna be getting topped off with cement and um, there's really no need for me to treat that area, spend the extra money on that, on that side of the lawn when at the end of the day, there's not gonna be any grass. I wanted to change it up a little with this channel since I actually got tons of, of messages of, say, of saying, well David, you didn't truly scalp your front lawn you only did a, uh, you only went a little lower. Yes, but even though a two inch cut on the St. Augustine is probably too low. So I wanted to show you guys that you can truly scalp your St. Augustine and go all the way down to the lowest setting. So the reason why I did that was because I want to provide new growth and I want to provide more airflow to the soil. It's pretty normal to be scalping St. Augustine in South Texas probably throughout the whole year since uh, the whole year it's pretty much hot it's pretty much humid so in other words it's kind of growing season throughout the whole year so you can see in this clip where I'm truly scalping my St. Augustine I have it in the lowest setting on my Super Toro recycler I actually have my bag attached to my mower so that way I'm catching all the debris all the dead grass that's there the reason why you want to catch those clippings is because you don't want to stress the lawn even more and throw all those clippings back into the lawn where you're not going to provide the oxygen uh, that the soil needs. And yes, here you can see the lowest setting. <laughs> And after I finished mowing, what I went ahead and did, I grabbed my rake and started raking off the dead grass off of the turf. Now, many people ask me if this is called detaching. No guys, this is not detaching. This is just raking off the dead grass from the turf. Now, detaching is not recommended for St. Augustine turf, for the reason being that you can actually kill the turf by pulling those stonings out. The third step will be core aeration. I bought this manual core aerator from the Yarp Other Company, which is an awesome tool and actually a must have tool for a DIYer. The benefit of owning a manual core aerator in a decent sized lawn is that you're able to use it on those compacted areas in your lawn to break the compacted soil and provide more airflow. Another benefit of this is while you pull those cores out, anytime you fertilize, anytime you spray something on top of the soil, it's able to go deep down into the soil. And just like that, one week after we have new growth and look at those thick stolons. Step number four, soil conditioners. This side of my lawn is close to 380 square feet. This area has never, and yes, you heard it right, it has never been treated with any type of fertilizer, any type of soil conditioners. The only thing that we do in this area is proper mowing and proper watering. So we're about to show you the power of the kelp, humic, and fulvic. So here it is folks. Here I have two gallons of uh, humic, fulvic, and kelp mixed together. It's super concentrated, so all I need about is three, three ounces per every thousand square feet. Uh, while also throwing my tank is some dried molasses in a powder form where I'm able to mix it in my tank together. This is what I've been applying in a, in a monthly basis. This is another reason why my, my, my lawn, my St. Augustine was a, 
was able to bounce back the way you did because of these right here. These are biostimulants that help you with the with the performance, with the overall health of your of your lawn, right? Super important. You really want to get these down deep into the soil, water it water it properly, uh, so it can take effect. It looks really really good, and it, it actually smells awesome as well. Just the uh, the smell in general of, of kelp smells like uh, like uh, like if you're in the beach. <laughs> the fifth step is patience. Trust the process, folks. Look at this. Look at the before and after pictures of my transformation of my side project. see that well there you have it folks i hope these five steps are able to help you recover any type of damage your turf received during the texas freeze or even if your lawn is struggling these steps are able to help you recover any type of damage you have so i want to take the time to thank you guys for watching this video if you guys like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed please subscribe and wait for the next one